Hi guys and welcome back to another special episode of Agri Tea's Garden Chronicles. It's such a pleasure to have you here watching and keeping up to date with this wonderful content. Today we are going to be focusing particularly on plant regeneration. This is in terms of how powerful the plants can be. So with no further ado, let's get right into it. So this is me enjoying the luxury of my newly received sorrel plants. However, let's see what happens next. insect partially damaged sorrel plant um not less than three days within the field we already have insects attacking our plants right so as i said before it's not just about planting to make a profit or having an income but it's understanding the dynamics and how to mitigate these challenges so when you pay particular attention to this leaf clearly you can see that there are parts of the leaf that is missing in particular when you pay attention to the edges in terms of the um rigid formation that it has um that would indicate that there has been some type of insect damage in other words some type of insect is eating your plants now from experience um and from observation as well it's important that you perform um daily or even weekly observations within your field right but from experience um we would know that this is as a result of a back um backchuck right so backchuck would have had a field with not just this one plant but with some of the several plants here out in the field so for example let's just go over to a much more healthy and um much more substantial soil tree so if you can see this is the normal pattern the normal undulation of the leaves the normal formation of the leaves in comparison to this leaf now the reason why that i'm highlighting this one in particular is because this is one out of two sorrel plants that has a broken apical meristem so agricultural education activated now for those of us who may not know the apical meristem of any plant is the growing point of the plant it is located at the top of the plant right and that is responsible for um the plant growing upward right so in order for this sorrel plant let me go over to a much more healthier plant so in order for this sorrel plant to have moved from let's just say from this height to this height it's as a result of the apical meristem um, growing and the cells within the apical meristem, right? So going back to our bachak, <laughs> to our bachak infested sorrel plant. So as a result of bachak having a field with this sorrel plant, it has chewed and obviously, let me see if I can get my camera to focus a little bit better. Right obviously um apparently the mouth part wasn't as strong now the mouth part associated with the bachak um is called the mandible so the mandible performs a biting and chewing action similarly to humans so it bites on the plant as exhibited by this leaf it bites on the plant it cuts it clean 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 and well it carries it to whatsoever it's located to um, provide food for their home and their colony right but that is pretty bad for us so with this being removed see i just had to gently remove it and it's already detached so we're inspecting it right so clearly it isn't a blade that would have um severed it or anything like that or detached it it's a result of the mandibles from the biting and chewing action of the patch up insect fear not oh is it that i i have one there no that's a bee pollinating um, agent. So as a result of this, now this is the apical meristem area here. As a result of this area being removed, the cells within the plant, auxins and stuff like that as well, would now signal to the plant that, hey, my apical meristem is not here anymore. So what I have to do when next I decide to do more production, which is basically every day, I have to encourage lateral 
production and right that, that will come from the lateral meristems and stuff so your apical meristem basically is the cells that encourage growth um lengthways upward and your lateral meristem is responsible for growth of these this is one and the branches that actually comes out from your plants so not to worry this is not too bad i mean we have to deal with the bachak infestation right about now let me see if i can get my camera to focus right so we have to deal with the bachak infestation but not to worry within a um, couple like two months or stuff like that you would see the significant difference with this sorrel plant so this is the same sorrel tree from a couple days ago if it brings you any remembrance we were highlighting the rigid ends that the bachak insect had cut and severed this was the same tree with the missing apical meristem. So if you look closely, look at right there. But from that same area, we have regeneration, right? So it's not from the apical meristem, meristem per se. Rather, it's at the side of the apical meristem. What we talked about, lateral meristematic growth. So there you have it nature at its best. All right, folks. I hope that you all would have enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video for you all. Remember, agriculture is life and agriculture is the sustenance of human life. Be kind to the earth. Remember to subscribe.